Well, good evening, y'all. It's Tuesday, October 20. I'm looking at the safe spot, so I can... Tuesday, October 24th, 42, but it's actually called 44. Uh, God had a we're, we're here, we're here by a hog farm, or well, a big conglomerate, I'm not going to say, but a big pork producing deal. Uh, I'm near one of them, so we have access to hog uh, Way back when, uh, we, they, they came to us on some other ground about doing it, we did do it. Uh, about four years, yeah, because that was in a week. About four years ago, I kind of got old and got about doing some. Uh, they will not do deer. They will not do anything near our town or anywhere near our town. It's our town, it's hundreds of people, whatever there's certain people in it's not really town. But anyway, uh, but they will do it our shop. Uh, they will do that. So they they did it. Uh, year uh, we're on year we're on two years of it. Uh, basically, it's. Uh, put it, you tell them the yield go and all that. It's usually been about 6,800 gallon acre of manure. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, wrong, some of you hog guys may know more. Whatever it used to be higher in fertilizer, it's not higher in that, it's higher in the opposite due to the feed. Uh, I'm going to tell you wrong what it is, but we're doing it for all the other value the hog manure gives. So, and like we all know, manure is great stuff. Great shit, sorry. I'll look at that. Uh, so using it and uh, that following manure has been my highest in CGA weight. Uh, just has been and uh, I've never worked 300 until we had that. Uh, now this year we didn't, but we also uh, shorter rain. Uh, and that manure really did do a big thing and that was a phenomenal what it did. Uh, and one thing that we noticed is you could tell from uh, like this year where they granted, oh, that first year we basically had them, we had them do it. Uh, we left a pretty good uh, three acres to park stuff on. Somewhere in that front of our drain bin so we could kind of park stuff on. And uh, by that next spring, we couldn't figure out what it was. And uh, my full-time guy finally hit me and said, hey, that's the hog manure line. And I thought about it, and I'm like, holy crap, it is. And you had nice, bright, or nice, bright 
dark green corn and just kind of fell off. Uh, just kind of funny seeing. Now granted, there was no dry fertilizer applied. Fertility's not low in the farm, but, so you didn't have that to offset it. But, man, that was night and day. I mean, that just kind of sold me right there. And uh, which we ended up having better corn, so we put 100 and 100 to fertilize for apple. We always put for us because this the yield goal, and we always beat the yield goal there every time we had it. Uh, so we ended up, and then we ended up doing it again. Or, well, this uh, yeah, this time last fall they did it again, and I said, hey, just leave the end rows next to our bins, do the rest, and that light still shows. That light still showed up. As were that we've had two years of manure on that versus one, but that just that just floored me. And uh, I sent the guy a picture, the guild map, showed it to a T. Man, it was just unbelievable. So this 42 acres, it got it. But I had it wheat one year. They put the manure on one summer uh, after wheat harvest. I didn't plant beans behind it. Was gonna have a water way redone, so I didn't. But was gonna plant sunflowers there as well. It ended up being dry in the popcorn park. I'm like, well, I'm not planting the crop. I can't get insurance, insurance on it. Not know if I'm going to have a darn thing. I don't want to put no money in it. And uh, ended up uh, had a chance to get manure on it. So I like that idea. Tenfold better to get manure on it. So done manure on it. And uh, I think that light ground really shine. And uh, kind of this year, you can kind of see that light ground. I mean, yeah, usually it falls off. But, man, it kind of shined. And I'm like, I'm like, yep, that manure is still giving her a good hand. So uh, had the other, had uh, the out front done as well. So I got a phone call, so I'll just talk to you later.